Hi guys, the next video is pretty simple and yet very important. Our next topic we are moving forward to is acceleration due to gravity. That is the small g value that we have used in previous classes also. I am sure you have all heard that acceleration due to gravity on our planet is 9.8 meter per second square in the downward direction. So it means is Suppose this is me standing on the surface of the earth and this is a small mass m that I have released just from my hands. So we all know that this small mass m will fall into downward direction. So I am telling you that it falls into the downward direction because our planet applies a gravitational force on this mass. By Newton's law, we have already seen the formula of that force. We have seen that the force applied by our planet on that small mass will be g m1 m2 by r square. Here m1 will be the mass of the planet, m2 will be the mass of the object and r square will be distance between the center of the planet and the small mass m. Now I am assuming that we are standing pretty close to the ground which we actually do because the radius of the earth is approximately 6400 kilometers so a few meter of height above or below the surface should not matter at all if this height is even less than 1 kilometer the height should not make any difference in the force of the gravity so the force of the gravity here will be g m1 m2 upon R e square. So if this mass is experiencing this force on itself, it will definitely accelerate downwards. So I can put net force is equals to mass into acceleration. That's by second law of Newton. So by second law, we can write force is equals to mass into acceleration. This gives me the value of acceleration. By cancelling out both the masses, I get acceleration equals to g m e by r e square. If we put the value of g, which is 6.67 into 10 is power minus 11, and put the value of mass of the earth, which is approximately 5.9 into 10 is to power 24, and also put the correct value of radius of earth, which is 6400 Kilometers. Remember, I am putting every value in SI units. So, 6400 kilometer, I will put that into 1000 meters. Okay. So, when I calculate this whole thing, you can check this out by yourself using a calculator. You get the acceleration equals to 9.8 meter per second square. This acceleration, the acceleration caused by the gravitational force is given a separate symbol small g. This is acceleration due to gravity near the surface of the earth and its value is 9.8 meter per second square in the downward direction. Got it? Now here are two other formulas that you might be using in this chapter is the value of g in terms of constant is small g equals to capital G m e by r e square. This is one and the second is we can derive the second formula from the first one. If I remove this Re from here and take it to the left hand side, I get small g into R equals to g m e by R e. These two substitutions will be used in other questions. For now, you need to know that the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square comes from this formula. Moreover, you need to know that this value is only and only valid if we are either standing on the surface of the earth or we are no more than a few kilometers above it. Okay. So what happens if we go a few kilometers above the surface of the earth? In that case, the acceleration due to gravity will change. I'll explain that in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe the video.